the bee box that Jack built. This is the bee box made of painted wood that stands in the shade of the yard. And these are the honeybees that live in the special box that stands in the yard. are the flowers that feed the honeybees that fly in and out of the hive in a box. And this is the sweet nectar that feeds the queen and the other bees that live in the bee box that stands in the yard. This is the golden honey made by the thousands of busy bees that work inside the dark shelter that stands in the yard. And this is Jack, the daddy, who keeps bees as a hobby, gathering honey from the bee box that stands in the yard. This is the honey pot filled with fresh honey produced by the worker bees that live in the hive that stands in the yard. And this is the mommy who drinks tea with honey while her children snack on bread and sweet, gooey honey. This is the honeycomb made by the worker bees that is collected from the hive that stands in the yard. And this is Jack, the daddy, who likes to eat raw honey and comb with slices of tart green apple. Delicious. This is the beeswax made into candles that are scented with honey that is collected from the hive that stands in the yard. And this is the mommy who lights the candles, then says a prayer of thanks. This is the cough syrup made with golden honey that comes from the hive in a box that stands in the yard. And this is Jack, the daddy, who spoons the medicine so his child will sleep better. This is the yogurt mixed with honey that comes from the bee box that stands in the yard. And this is the grandma who offers her grandchildren sweet honey yogurt for breakfast. Here is the whole family, 
thankful to the bees for the candles for the golden honey for the cough syrup for the beeswax and for pollinating the flowers. Thank you, honeybees. that Jack milked. This is the milk cow, spotted and strong, that lives on Jack's farm. And this is the grass that grows in the pasture that the cow chews and chews. Jack, the farmer, who milks the cow that stands in the pasture of his farm. Moo. And these are the children who enjoy the milk that comes from the cow that lives on Jack's farm. This is the thick cream skimmed from the top of the milk that comes from the cow that lives on Jack's farm. And these are the family's kittens that lap the sweet cream that comes from the cow that lives on Jack's farm. This is butter, churned from the cream that is made from the milk that comes from the cow. And this is the mommy who spreads the butter on bread for her three children. This is the whipped cream, whisked until it becomes light and fluffy, that starts with sweet cream that comes from the cow. And this is Jack, the daddy, who spoons the whipped cream, then asks his children, who wants to lick the beaters? This is the smooth yogurt that starts with heated milk that comes from the cow that lives on Jack's farm. This is the grandma who offers her grandchildren yogurt with fresh strawberries on top. This is the ice cream made with sugar, eggs, and vanilla added to the heavy cream that comes from the cow. And this is the ice cream maker 
that makes the job easier. This is the farm family, thankful to the dairy cow. For the milk. For the cream. For the butter. For the yogurt. For the whipped cream. For the ice cream. Moo, you forgot the cheese. Here's the cheese. Thank you, Spotted Cow. <laughs> the hens that live on Jack's farm. These are the hens, all fluffy and feathered, that live on Jack's farm. And these are the eggs that were laid by the hens that live in the chicken coop. These are the sunny side up eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. And this is the mom who cracked the eggs in a pan, then fried them. These are the egg whites, separated from the yolks that came from inside the eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. And this is the grandma, who beat the egg whites, then baked a big batch of vanilla meringue cookies. These are the egg yolks, separated from the whites that came from inside the eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. And this is the grandpa, who followed a recipe which used eight eggs and baked a yummy cake. These are the eggshells, cracked and crushed, that came from the eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. And these are the kids who spread the eggshells around the vegetable garden to feed the plants and the soil. These 
are the balls of food coloring that were used to color the eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. And this is the mommy who hard boiled the eggs, then helped dip them. are the eggs, all colored and dyed and ready for an egg hunt. And this is Jack, the daddy, hiding the eggs so they are not easy to find. This is everyone hunting for eggs that were hidden by daddy, that were dipped and dyed by kids, that were hard boiled by mommy, that were laid by hens that live on Jack's farm. Whoever finds the most gets extra dessert. These are the kids ready to taste the cake and the cookies that were made with the eggs that were laid by the hens that live on Jack's farm. These are the colored eggs they collected. This is the family who thanked the hens, all fluffy and feathered, who laid the eggs. Thank you, hens. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid-safe, ad-free library full of storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown-up and start exploring more fun stories like these. Seriously, you have to check it out. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vooks app for free today.